Hey what's up everyone, my name is Supergeek. Asus has released two new gaming rigs in the ROG series with the latest RTX 3080 GPU from NVIDIA. The ROG Strix GA35 and the ROG Strix GT35 are the two gaming rigs which Asus released and the main difference between these two models is the processor. The GA35 series comes with Ryzen CPU while the GT35 rocks Intel CPU. One more difference between these two are that the GA35 is built for content creators while GT35 is more of a gaming machine. Not that you cannot game on the GA35 but it's not made for that. Also if you only want to game then you should go for the Intel version because it's about 20,000 cheaper than the Ryzen version. Now let's talk about them one by one. The Strix GA35 comes with Ryzen processor and you can choose between the Ryzen 9 3900X which is a 12 core 24 thread processor or you can choose the Ryzen 9 3950X which is a 16 core 32 thread processor. And I think both processors can boost all the way up to 4.8 GHz and of course the processor are unlocked ones so you can do a little bit of overclocking since you get an AIO cooler to cool them off. Furthermore, you get 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM and for the storage you get one 1 1TB M.2 SSD and one 2TB mechanical hard drive. Now for the Strix GT35, you get the Intel Core i7 10700KF processor which is an 8 core 16 thread processor and can boost all the way up to 5.1 GHz. It is also unlocked so you can overclock it just like Ryzen version but there is a little difference in the cooling. It comes with the same AIO cooler but the RAD is 120mm instead of 240mm which you get on GA35. Now rest of the specs are similar. You get 32 gigs of DDR4 memory. For storage you get one 1TB one of M.2 SSD and one 2TB of mechanical hard drive. And of course the star of the day is RTX 3080 GPU which you get on both the Intel and Ryzen variant in a similar configuration. Now for the pricing, the ROG Strix G835 starts at 2,55,000 while the GT35 starts at 2,35,000. These will be available on both online and offline stores in coming weeks. Now what do you think about the prices of these pre-built from Asus? And do you think building your own PC is better than buying a pre-built? I'll answer that question in my next video, so hit the subscribe button so you won't miss it. So that's it for now guys, hope you liked the video, hit the like button, get subscribed and I'll see you in the next one.